Hi, Scritchy here, DemonDemon.com. Going to keep this short and sweet. This is Buzz Bundle. Um, this is my secret weapon in getting um, social noise and social relevance going around my sites. And let's be blunt about it, it's also for getting links. Um, if you if you use it properly, you will get links. Um, there are, is some talk about this being a linkless solution, how you can um, progress online without getting any links but if you look at what the people are doing when they're using it they are in fact creating links and that is what is giving them their rise in SERPs. So it does both. I'm just going to go through very very quickly and I'm going to have to edit this video together because what I don't want is one of my 25 minutes half hour rambling ones. So I'll just show you how it does. Let's say we want a new campaign and we want to add some streams. Now stream is it, it's um, a sort of site. It, it's a um, you can have as many streams as you like and each one represents a, a site type such as forums or blogs or video sites or question and answer sites and various other streams you can find. So say you wanted to find streams on motorbikes which I happen, I do today, cycles uh, and something else, let's have scooters. Okay uh, and that was okay so there's there's the streams you want also I only want uh, in English this is quite important because it will go through all the different languages if you let it so make sure you set that to English it will take ages if you don't do that also if these words are very wide and have a huge amount of content per word uh, it might take a long time to get all the buzz for it but we'll you know I'm gonna do this anyway okay it's going to Q&A sites I know already and so set up these four streams forums and blogs, Q&A sites, social networks, video sharing. It's showing nothing at the moment. Straight away I'm going to go in and do some changes. I do not want question answer sites. It goes basically goes to Yahoo. Then video sharing sites I do want. There we go. It started to populate. 21 new posts on Twitter and whatnot. But I'm going to change that as well. I'm going to edit this stream. Now here we go. What sort of sites do you want? I don't actually want Twitter. I want Google, I want LinkedIn and I want Facebook. I don't want Twitter. Uh, so those will now disappear and off it goes. Forums and blogs, I'm going to change that one as well. I'm going to edit the stream. I only want blogs in that one. I can change the title and the title will change at the top here. And that's now called blogs. And this one, I'm going to change that as well. And I only want this one to be forums. So I'm going to get rid of that and name that as forums. Press OK and off it goes. So now it's it's going to go away and do that and we'll pop back when it's done. OK, we're back. The very short version of this is here's our blogs, forums and our social networks. Um, it's very little on LinkedIn, but I didn't think there would be for um, motorbikes. You can do anything you want to here. Now remember this is just a sample size. There are, you could I could have had Twitter here, I could have had Q&A sites, I could have had YouTube, they're all things but actually didn't want to and I want to make this quite simple just to show you how this works. So say you wanted to get in and you've seen something on this forum here that interested you. Some motorbikes look just right, nice pictures and whatnot. You click on it and it opens in its own browser. If you give it a moment, there you go, it's transferring data down here and there it is. Um, have a little look at it, it's all there. Say then you decide that's something you're interested in, you want to make a comment on, uh, click reply and your message, hi, great info, I'm not going to send this message and I really don't suggest you um, do that. You can schedule it, it gives you the word count, you can, you know, so there are certain times of the day it might be more beneficial to post than others depending on where in the world you're marketing. Click OK. Uh, use an existing profile if you've got one, if I say there's an existing profile uh, if I've already created an account and a personality on the site or register a new one and it will try and register a new one okay there are some unknown fields on it so it can't do it automatically but it brings it all up for you to get on and do and it will remember this profile so if I was now to create a username and password it would then remember it and I wouldn't need to log in every time I could just enter it uh, when I come to this site a second or third time I could just fill in the uh, information and go and what you find over a period of time is in a particular niche for instance in SEO I've got uh, Blackout World, Traffic Planet, Warrior Forum, um, a couple of others um, 
that uh, some of the internet marketing and SEO forums that are automatic that are set up that I've got a, a, um, a personality for an account set up for I just go in there and it does them automatically as far as blogs go well that's quite simple it, this is blogs comment, blog commenting it tells you which ones you can't um, comment on it says comments aren't accepted if, if it's disabled which ones there are um, again it's just a case of clicking on the link and it will take you to the site and you can create a comment um, very very simple it's basically finding these conversations for you once again if there's any signups involved there you are so down the bottom here you can create a comment in the normal way if there's any signups involved it will deal with those for you social networks is huge um, so let's say hang on let's find one about motorbikes um, yeah okay electric vehicle symposium okay so I click on comment electric vehicles really interest me um, once again schedule or not click OK and ask you for your Google login details. Once you've done this once for a profile, it won't ask you again, which is very handy. So I could put in my Google details there, press finish, and it would then post to that that site, uh, to that uh, that person's page and that person's post. Various other things you'd be interested in if you're going to prop into preferences. You've got. Uh, preferred social media so you've got this blogs forums social networks which are Facebook Twitter Google plus and LinkedIn Q&A sites and YouTube how you can set up a stream uh, and whether you can copy it and paste it you'll find that some niches are much too big and take far too long if you were to put make money online then it finds so much stuff and it would take so long you you probably want to cut it short or something you might want to break it down into smaller smaller um, words you know uh, a nationality bot with it or something like that all your personas and profiles uh, keyword groups their human emulation which you know a delay because some of this involves um, interrogating search engines to find these conversations in the first place uh, user agents you've got proxy rotation and capture settings I've got my proxies loaded in there so I'm not going to show you those but um, so some forums want to capture solve to join uh, if you've got multiple personalities say you want to pretend to be 10 or 12 people I don't suggest you do sock puppeting but if you wanted to do sock puppeting you could, you could do with this um, you've got a scheduler so you can put tasks in there and schedule them you know to, this to run on a server overnight adding content and things like that language settings um, this is just for the language that the application runs in when you're setting up a new campaign I really do suggest you limit it to a couple of languages otherwise once again it will go through them all even the things like color schemes you know you can have uh, I think I think that's one I use but you could have blue and orange that looks even greater than that one sand vaguely stick it on sand see what that comes out next time tell me after here yeah, we open it um, you've got a history of your activities uh, all your activities for the future rather so you can set up your activities and see what's planned what which ones you're going to be setting off your list of personas and profiles um, low every every time you set up a new campaign you can have a new set of persona profiles for that campaign which is very handy um, you can set put PMs um, mess about with the window so I've got I've got ones here for content spinning general SEO internet marketing so for instance if I click general SEO it will go and it will find my previously found stuff for content and SEO pop back to streams once it's loaded it and there we are so this is this is general SEO sites you can see there's 2122 dialogues in this stream uh, which is mostly Google forums there's over a thousand there's almost a thousand blogs and it updates every day I get up in the morning and my workflow is to click these two little um, almost yin yang arrows and get them to update so if I do that now you can see they start rotating and they're now updating those streams and you'll see numbers arrive at the top so I haven't really gone into a huge amount of detail but I want to call close this video off now this this there you are it's finding new posts on there and if you click on the green uh, it's busy at the moment it'll, it'll um, there you go it'll, it'll scroll down and show you the new post at the top what it does it saves me from so much busy work um, it isn't the sort of tool that will pay for itself in a day but it will pay for itself in a month or two definitely and it will pay for itself in two 
ways that are linked but quite specific. The first way is the amount of time it will take you to find all these conversations if you do it manually. Now I previously had a system where I set up uh, Google News, I set up RSS readers and various other bits and bobs and certain sites I bookmarked and I went to them all. And that works and there are a couple of sites I still go to manually as well to be fair but 90% of that, more than 90%, 95%, 98% of that I no longer do. It's, it's definitely the exception rather than the rule. I find the conversations in the niches for the keywords I'm after using this tool. The second thing is it makes posting so easy. It makes actually getting involved in the conversation so easy. It will create accounts on quite a few of the sites. It'll, it'll manage your passwords and username so you're not always going oh I want to write you know I want to write an account on Traffic Planet but oh is that the is that my warrior forum password and username because you know or whatever it just remembers them all if you want you have multiple personalities of you doing it on behalf of several people it remember all the usernames and passwords for them and just automatically once you set them up once it will enter it if uh, you can if you shift click on any of these I should add so if, if you shift it goes to these directly in its own browser if you shift click it will open in your own browser so if you don't like the browser that's supplied and you'd rather do your work and you're filling in forms in Chrome or Internet Explorer or, or whatever Firefox you can do that it's perfectly fine it's flexible last thing I'll add before I close this is that the guys that are developing it update it all the time this is one of the first days in about a week I haven't had a little notification box pop up here telling me about how it's being updated there's a new version I think they're calling it the enterprise version it's coming out soon it's not the cheapest tool on the planet it's a couple of hundred dollars I know though due to the amount that I use it and you can see you know I I've, I've do this daily I've got all these set up here um, that it's it's paid for itself in a period of about six weeks it's not a push button success uh, it isn't around about just pressing the button and creating backlinks all over the place you do need to add the value I find it works best in conjunction with us with you having a site with some content on it what I find is I go into these conversations and I can then refer to some content I've written previously on a site and say oh you know it's funny you should say that about whatever the topic is I wrote about that blah 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 and I can write if I write 150 words I shouldn't you know the aim isn't to drop a link but you can drop a link and nine times out of ten it will be accepted because it's relevant it's on topic and you're you know you found the actual thing that you you wrote your original page or article or post about and so dropping a link isn't you know it's, it's not a terrible crime there are some sites that don't like you dropping any links at all there's some groups in Google Plus that are absolutely link averse and that's fine uh, you can still use it for reputation management and building up your brand remember that since before hummingbird it's become apparent that Google will pick up brand names from text without them being linked and it just looks at how it analyzes those we don't know but we know that it does and we know it looks for relevance it, it builds up the profile of the brand and sees how often it's mentioned and whether the sites are mentioned are relevant or not and that can build up quite a bit of power as well and that's without a link so all of them have value and of course they're direct traffic you know if, if, if you go to somebody uh, on Google Plus and you just write a linkless piece in their in their timeline but then you ask them to be you know to, to join your circle they may well do it because you've added value and if that person then has got X thousand people in their circles it's easy to then you know it builds up now I've built up you might have noticed if you look for my name Scritty or Paul Aaron Clark on Google you'll see I'm close to a hundred Google followers now and that's from nothing and they're all follow they're all proper real people there's no botting in there there's no buying accounts in there every one of them was done in this tool in the space of about two weeks work uh, and that's just that wasn't hard work that was just half hour of doing it a day three or four days a week and it was very very simple I'd find a conversation enter a few comments if people replied or even if they didn't I'd pick on those that seemed to be important the players the, the, the main people in the game and just ask them within buzz bundle you know want to follow me I'll follow you do you want to follow me and it was just so easy I very I can't I probably did get some that turned me down but I can't remember any off the top of my head so it's you're talking about a really powerful way of, of, of um, making your presence known certainly of creating links driving direct traffics without links and without Google and also providing Google with the social proof it seems to want to find these days as part of its ranking um, with a great tool which yeah it's a couple of hundred dollars but it'll pay for itself if you use it 
in a matter of weeks um, and it will probably be one of your better long term it will probably be one of the best investments it's a, you, you, you're likely to make certainly was for me I wasn't given this I bought this with my own cash and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it and it gets used daily there's all the rest of them look ultimate demon there whenever I click on that uh, I just get my own stuff back at me mostly um, anyway there we go scritty at demondemon.com signing off <laughs>